Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very long time since I recorded or even posted a video on here, but I see I have a lot of new subscribers and thank you so much for being a part of my community here. And if you're new around here, I'm Jaleesa and welcome to my channel. I'm the lead and owner of Lovely Soiree and on my channel, I help brides to bees, DIY brides to bees that are planning their own wedding. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what is a day of coordinator? Do you really need one? And what are their responsibilities? So let's get started. So what is a day of coordinator? So a day of coordinator is basically someone that is a professional that is brought in six to eight weeks prior to your wedding day and they take on the last end of your wedding plans and they execute your vision the day of. So they're the person that basically just runs your entire wedding day so that way you don't have to even worry about anything and you can enjoy your special day. So let's talk about the responsibilities of a day of coordinator. So the first thing is they manage your entire wedding vendor team and they are the point of contact for your entire team and they also make sure that the wedding vendors are doing everything that they're supposed to be doing according to their contract and they do make them aware of any the setup time, breakdown time, any special directions for parking, uh, especially if there's like valet parking or just loading docks, especially if they have to unload any heavy furniture or anything. They give them all of those details. Next is logistics. So they do make sure that the floor plan that you confirmed with your wedding venue is flowing the way it's supposed to and all of the tables and chairs are set up exactly how it's listed on the floor plan. So they do manage that and they do manage any design execution. And if you rented any, you know, linens or anything like that, or any decor rentals, they will make sure every, all of the supplies that you've rented or purchased is at the location where it's supposed to be. And if you have 200 guests, they make sure there's 200 chairs at the ceremony. So they handle all of those fine details of the logistics work. Next is the timeline. So this is really important that you have a really good timeline so that way things are flowing really well. I don't know if you've ever been to an event or a wedding where things just looked all over the place. So that's why it's so important to create a timeline so that way everything is ran smoothly. And also the couple is involved in this too. So once when the couple finalizes the entire timeline, that's when the day of coordinator will send out the timeline to all the wedding vendors. And also the timeline will be passed out during the rehearsal um, to your wedding party too. So that way everyone knows what's going on and that way everything is flowing really, really well the day of. Next is really important, which is problem solving. So they're the ones that pretty much puts out any fires that may come up, you know, leading up to your wedding and the day of. So for instance, shoot, like, the hairstylist is stuck in traffic and then the you know everything is bumped back and they're the ones that have to put out that flat that fire <laughs> and then if the bar runs out of wine like they're the ones that got to put out that fire if the father of the bride is missing they're the ones that have to figure it out so they're the ones that pretty much puts out all the fire so that way you do not have to worry about it and you're probably you probably won't even be aware of that that even happened so yeah. And the last thing is, when do you need a, court, a day of coordinator? So if you are a DIY bride or couple and you are planning your own wedding, I will suggest that you hire a day of coordinator because you do not want to, you know, spend all this time planning your wedding and then the day of is here and then you're like, uh, I don't want to have to deal with that. Someone needs to deal with that. So that's when you hire a day of coordinator so they can take on all those plans and uh, execute everything so that way you don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is just worry about getting ready, being calm and relaxed and getting married. So yeah, if you are a DIY bride, yeah, you would definitely, I would definitely suggest you hire a day of course. And if you are planning to get married at a non-traditional location, and what I mean by that is if you're planning on getting married at a park or um, the, in a backyard at someone's house like you know a day of coordinator will step in and help you um make sure everything is properly um placed according to your plan and your vision 
because a lot of times if you are getting married at a non-traditional location you're basically starting from a blank canvas and it's like oh what do i do you know so you have to you know rent everything because if you are planning like if you're planning to get married at an airbnb more than likely you're not going to have all of the things that you need so like all of the tables chairs linens and you're not going to have you know the staffing that's going to be able to help you set up everything so that's when a day of coordinator is there to step in and execute your vision according to your plan so yeah i would definitely suggest hiring a day of coordinator if you are a diy bride or if you're planning on getting married at a non-traditional location so yeah so i hope this video was helpful and also i do offer a day of coordination service so if you'd like to know more you know details about the services that i do offer just click the link below and it will take you right directly to my website and i am located in southern california so if you are planning on getting married and you're planning your own wedding day of coordination service i do offer that so yeah if you have any questions just shoot me an email i'm happy to help or if you have any questions in the uh chat i can i'll also answer there as well so yeah, if you would like to be a part of my community here, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.